Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're really excited to have you all here today for the Skywatcher product announcement event. Before we get into that, I'd just like to share with you some numbers from the last quarter. We're happy to report that Skywatcher have sold 14 billion Star Adventurers. Yeah. yeah. Of course, that means there's two for every person on the planet, which is great because it's a really popular, fantastic product. Now, to present to you today the exciting new product that we have, we've prepared a little ad. So I'd like to share that with you now. I think that's enough of the keynote shtick for the moment. Uh, this is a really interesting announcement. We've got two new products, the EQ8R and EQ8RH. And I had some questions immediately, which I fired off to the guys and they've answered for me so I can share that with you. Uh, but I need to tell you, I started with a Skywatcher Equatorial Mount. In fact, that was the first Equatorial Mount that I was really happy with and that got me into astrophotography. Uh, it was an EQ6, which is known to be like a workhorse of a mount. It just works and it was really reasonably priced. Um, so I used that for years and years. And in fact, when I switched to the CGX eventually, I did it for the bigger payload, which I couldn't use with the EQ6. And the payload on this thing is nuts, 50 kilograms. Uh, which is 110 pounds apparently. Uh, now that is massive, in fact, that would mean you could, if you had a Rasa 36 from Celestron, you'd be able to put one of those on this thing. And I don't think Celestron even have a mount that will handle the Rasa 36 and accessories. Uh, so this is a observatory level mount. Um, so there's a lot to unpack here, let's, let's go through it. Uh, firstly, there's a new cable management system, uh, which means that you can route your cables much nicer. Uh, if you're like me, you're pretty lazy and you just let them hang everywhere and you do get snags. So that's always a nice thing for mount designers to consider. There's improved connectivity, improved motor installation, uh, which I think has to do with the balance of the motor. So the motor position, um, it's such a heavy component within the mount that its position and installation actually affects the balance of what you're trying to do. So they've actually considered that in the construction of these mounts. Uh, it has an improved dovetail groove knob, belt drive on the deck axis, and this is the difference with the H version. The H actually stands for high resolution. So it's for those astronomers who actually need a little bit extra precision when it's guiding on the RA axis. So it has a 11.8 million tick, which I think means the parts are more precisely engineered so you don't get as much periodic error correction or peck error at all. And of course, like all good observatory grade mounts, you've got encoders. So the mount always knows where it is. And if you switch it off and turn it back on again, it knows exactly where it's hanging. It has an internal knowledge of exactly where it is. It can find home at any time and it will retain its alignment perfectly. Apart from the payload capacity of 50 kilograms, there is also uh, four USB ports. Uh, ports and the power are an important part of any observatory setup and having so many ports on the mount itself means that you can directly power and wire all of those things straight to the mount. And again, reduces the 
chance of cable snags and things like that. Uh, it has a pier, which is always much nicer than a tripod. Uh, just gives you a little more space to work around as well. Uh, you don't have to trip over those tripod legs. Uh, so I had some questions. Uh, my first question was, does it work with EQ mod? Uh, EQ mod was the one thing I really missed when I gave up my EQ6 and I wish I had some equivalent. Uh, it's such a great piece of software from the community, open source, and interfaces with all Skywatch mounts. And that's really handy because it has a few little tools in there, like um, spiral search for example, or being able to slew something from an upside down position. And that sounds like a really weird use case, but it is something that I often want. Uh, sometimes when I'm on one side of the meridian or the other, I want to hit a target and there's a tree in the way, but I realized if I could slew to it from the other direction, I'd miss the tree. So little things like that. Uh, EQ mod also interfaces with a whole bunch of other stuff and just opens up the amount of stuff you can do with the mount. Uh, and I'm also told that apparently you won't need the old shoestring cable anymore. You can actually do this straight to the mount via USB. Skywatcher also has its own inbuilt polar line routine. And it's something you really need to check out if you're not using it already. Uh, so it will uh, allow you to center on certain stars after you've done your regular alignment routine and then we'll shift the star by its known error. So you can turn the adjustment screws on the mount to get that star back to center and your polar aligned. And that sort of alignment routine has... I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement The top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, Give me that crown Get in my way and to be put down It ain't your place All this my town If I want that shit then I'll get it right now I'm losing it The noose it fits Some loose shit A stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip And lose a gift Oh I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign yeah. There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've got my own issues, I need a comb to get through Don't need to groan with you, just go get your own tissue I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign That's it, the end of the song Next time you'll sing along Trust me, there's nothing wrong I just need to carry on Cause society's a myth Put there to make you sit Listen to what they give Don't ask questions, shut your lid Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid I need to run away from this And go get off the grid Feel like my brain is overloaded, man I'm losing it Don't let them tell you what to do, man They don't know shit Incidentally, the original EQ8 will still be for sale. Um, this is considered the kind of um, 
bigger, better version of the EQ8, but they will remain on sale in parallel. So pricing for all of this starts with the Skywatcher EQ8R itself, which is $7,999. The same again, but with no peer, you can get it even cheaper. If you don't go for the peer, you get it for $6,999. RH version is $11,499. But again, if you decide to go without the peer and supply your own, we're looking at $10,499. So they're not cheap mounts, uh, but this is an interesting development for Skywatcher. Because of the EQ6, it was known as such a cost-effective mount. Uh, I don't like to say the word cheap because it was actually a, a workhorse of a mount. As I said, it did the job really nicely, especially for that price point. And I think Skywatcher has been known for being the cheaper option for a while. Uh, but this isn't that. This is the Ferrari of mounts. They've gone for quality, uh, not necessarily the cheapest mount in the world, but this is a highly precise instrument. And if you are a serious astronomer, whether it's serious about making the best possible images, or you're actually doing academic level observation and discovery uh, this is the kind of thing that takes you to the next level so super excited about this guy watcher eq8r thanks for watching this premiere especially if you're watching this live with me at the bintel store in sydney it's about time for us to go and have a beer i think so thanks all for watching this little product announcement i hope you've enjoyed it i wish you all clear skies as usual and a happy existence but remember everything is meaningless and we're all going to die Some kind of bird